and uranium developer Bimi Resources up 30% yesterday as a broker not labelled it to buy. It follows renewed interest in uranium equities and to tell us more is CEO Mike Young. Mike, welcome to the programme this afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. As you said, obviously very Good much job. renewed interest in uranium uh, as these governments try to move to you know greener energy sources. So tell us a bit about what you're doing in the industry at the moment. Sure. So Vimy Resources is a uranium development company based in Western Australia. We've got a project called the Mogga Rock Project in WA, uh, which has gone through definitive feasibility studies. Uh, currently, we are engaging with U.S. utilities to um, we're engaging with them to write contracts. Uh, uranium is a contract market. There is a spot price that's reported, but that's not a realistic price in terms of contracting. So our main game is to get contracts with U.S. utilities, and then that would underpin debt to build the project. What about the political hurdles that you had to overcome in Australia as far as getting another mine up? Sure. So the three mines policy doesn't exist anymore federally. Mm. So the, both federal government and the opposition both support uh, uranium. And there's a large debate on right now about nuclear power which is gaining some currency in Australia. In Western Australia, the uh, state government is uh, against uranium mining, but in 2016, we received our public environmental review approval, uh, and the government did say that the four miners that had that approval could move forward, and, and that's, what, uh, that's the assumption that we're working on. Yeah, so do you have a time frame in mind then? Well, unfortunately, the time frame is... Um, is being determined existentially by the U.S. utilities. So um, U.S. is about 30 percent of the entire market. Uh, the next largest customers are China and France. Uh, France is a pretty much closed market to us, as is China. So we do concentrate on the U.S. The U.S. utilities have been running strategic inventories for uh, quite some time, and they're not quite at the point where they need to dive back into the market. Um, it is a bit perplexing because in 200, uh, 2020, the world mined 120 million pounds of uranium and used 180 million pounds. So there is a systemic shortage uh, out there. They know it's out there. Uh, but as I say, they're sitting on their uh, stockpiles. They have enough fuel for their next reload. So they're not panicking yet. Uh, but when you look at the numbers and, and you actually look at uh, supply and demand, dynamics there is a shortage coming and at some point the price will will significantly rise and they'll be forced to pay higher prices so what part are you trying to play then in that shortage shortage uh, of supply in the market so obviously uh, with three and a half million pounds a year in a 180 million pound market we're a small player uh, it's not unlike a, a, an iron ore company that I used to run called BC iron uh, so our goal is to really uh, sit in the third quartile of the producers, uh, be competitive, uh, fulfill contracts with U.S. utilities, have predominantly most of our material contracted and expose some of it to the spot price because we expect the spot price uh, to rise significantly over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, and it's really to capture that upside for our investors while base loading our economics with contracts in the U.S. to get the project running. Given the potential you see there, Mike, other than obviously your interest with Mulga Rock, anything else on the horizon for you? So we also have a project in the Northern Territory in Arnhem Land called Alligator River. Um, that's That area has been unloved for a long time because of the Three Mines policy, but the geology up there is almost identical to the geology of the highest grade uranium deposits in the world in Canada. Um, the uranium, the, the Alligator River field does host Jabaluka and Ranger, both finds one is now closed and one will probably never be. Uh, but we're, we're over in Arnhem Land. Um, we've got agreements with the Aboriginal people to explore and, and mine. Uh, and that project is pretty exciting. It's high grade. It's a smaller project uh, and it's only in a, an early stage. Um, but the exploration ground up there is is outstanding, and we've just barely scratched the surface. So long term, um, for us, that's that's a really juicy target that we we you know we want to get into. We get some cash flow going from Mogga Rock, and that that becomes our a long term pipeline. Mike, thanks so much for joining us from Vimy Resources. Thank you.